me about, tell me about what happened yesterday. Yesterday was packed with action. There were two sub-dives, one in 100 meters and one in 300 meters. And ever, I haven't yet made my first dive, but I'm looking forward to that today. But the news is really wonderful. Uh, in addition to the sub-dives, there were scuba dives. I made two of those, two nice long uh, returns for me to Cocos to meet some old friends and find some new ones, too. We found a turtle that had a tag on it, a satellite tag. A very friendly turtle, actually. It was a hawksbill that had uh, apparently been distressed by its contact with human beings. In fact, it seemed to be a pretty friendly turtle. Uh, lots of pictures were taken, and we uh, gave it a big smile, and it gave us a turtle smile back and took off into the blue. So somebody's tracking that turtle. I hope that uh, we so find out who it is and make contact that we, we know your turtle. <laughs> so what's, what's coming up today with the sub? You're going to be going into it. And, uh... Today, Bruce Robeson and I will be making a descent. We are, our destination is about 300 meters, about 1,000 feet down, in a place that has only been looked at a couple of times. We expect to find some new things and again to see some old friends. Yesterday, when Edie and Jorge first made their descent, a sailfish came by. That is so unusual to see a sailfish. It didn't linger, but it took off. We don't know what we're going to see, either in midwater or as we dive along the bottom contour. But this is really good information. This is on a part of the Cocos Island area that is a little tricky to get to. It's not where people have been going historically with the subs very often, so we're looking for some, some good information to help establish how really special Cocos is.